and welcome to today's Tuesday Tip. I've received some questions from some of the viewers, and you know how excited I get about viewers when they send me questions for Tuesday Tips. It just makes me too excited because that way at least I know that you're watching and getting something out of the tips. So, the next couple of Tuesday sessions, we will have viewer tips, things that you sent in to ask me questions about. Here's the first question. I just had my first MRR as a new manager, and I was advised by my CA that my applications need to have specific wording for the registered sex offenders. Do you have any suggestion on wording for it or what words should be used? Still scared. Well, still scared, don't be, don't be scared. Your application should ask the question if anyone in the household is a registered sex offender or any on any state lifetime sex offenders registry. And according to the handbook, and the HUD notice 2012-11, it should ask the applicants to list all the states where any or all household members have lived. It would be your job to make sure that you run a sex offender background check in all of those states. Remember, if you allow a sex offender into your property, you have to terminate tenancy at once, according to your state landlord law. The second one states that when a tenant installs an additional lock on the door, in addition to the house lock that we already have there, are they required to provide the landlord with a copy of the key to the additional lock? I went to do my inspections before a REAC and discovered that I could not get into the unit, signed Sarah. Hi, Sarah. The standard HUD model family lease covers this in paragraph nine. The lease says that the tenant agrees not to install, add, or anything to a different lot without the landlord's written permission. And if the landlord does give permission, the tenant must provide the landlord with the key. This situation comes up more often than you think. Good thing you discovered it before you had your react. Well, hopefully that helped not only Still Scared and Sarah, but perhaps it was a great refresher for others. And with that being said, we will see you next week for another Tuesday Tip. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.